for problem 14, you're asked to revise the selection sort function so that instead of looking and finding the minimum number in the list and placing it in the first spot, you instead want to find the maximum number in the list and place it in the last spot. So again, we're going to define selection sort of list. And in this case, we want to look um, in the range from one to the length of the list plus one. And we want to find the maximum number in the list from zero to length of list minus i. So the current max will be list um, at minus i, and the current max index will be minus i. Uh, so this will allow us to move through the list backwards from the last item to the first item. Similarly, for j in range, um, now our range is 0 to the length of list minus i because we want to look at the numbers that occur in the list before the location we currently are at in. If the current max is less than the um, item in the list at that location, we want to make the current max equal to that number, otherwise it stays what it is. Um, and then we'll change the current max index as well to be equal to j. And now we need to swap if needs be. So if our um, item at position j is larger than the current max, we need to replace the current max with that number. So if current max index is not equal to negative i, which means it got changed here, then list at the current max index should be list of negative i, and list at negative i should be equal to current max. So we're just flip-flopping them, and then we'll return the list. So we'll run that function, and then we're asked to write a test program that'll read in 10 numbers and invoke the, the program and display the sorted numbers. So I told this to return the list, which should cause it to print out those numbers when I call the function. And I've gone ahead here and just chosen 10 random numbers to sort. So we've got 4, negative 20, 3.6, 9, 4.5, negative 3.7, 82, 9.5, 2, and 7. So when we sort that list, it does indeed look like we are sorting that list in ascending order.